One thing to note with some of the BD1 ML syringes, there is no stopper. It means if you keep pulling out, you'll pull the plunger all the way out of the body of the syringe. You don't want to do that. Okay, now I've got lots of bubbles and those are annoying. But again, you just, if you keep, when you, if you hold your finger so that it doesn't come out uh, the plunger and then just flick, you'll see that now most of those bubbles are merging together. And then what you'll do is you can recap it. There really is no more room left, so you can't really pull back any further because you will risk the plunger coming out and you don't want to do that because it will be sterile. You can unscrew the needle filter and then you can pick which syringe. So if you want to do a subcutaneous or shallow intramuscular injection, you can use the 27 gauge, half of an inch needle. Or if you want a more a deep intramuscular injection, that's a one inch needle that you could use as well. So I'll just, I'll just pick one, the 27 gauge. So you, you can see it's a one, you get this lure lock, so I just screwed that on. And then there's a little bubble of air. And I just push from the bottom of the plunger, making sure there's no tap it a few times. I push from the bottom. And then if I were ready to inject, make sure all the bubbles are out. Here I am right exactly at one mil and ready to inject. So that's an easier way to get out one full mil. If you were to draw out the whole thing at once, then the risk is you would probably have even less in there.